Here's the latest on Xox.com. A new purpose for an old drug may stop the cancer-causing Epstein-Barr virus. Cellular senescence could be the key to getting Epstein-Barr under control. Hello, I'm Sarah Massey, life science blogger and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. It's estimated that 9 out of every 10 adults across the world are carriers of the Epstein-Barr virus, which is capable of inducing cancer in some. Cells infected with the virus will often begin to divide more rapidly and may even begin to break down cellular components in order to free up amino acids, nucleotides, and lipids. The Epstein-Barr virus infects a type of white blood cell, known as a B cell, which is important in immune system function. Once the infected B cells begin to run out of these building blocks necessary for cell division and viral replication, they enter a phase known as cell senescence. While the immune system is often sufficient to prevent widespread infection and potentially cancer-causing cellular damage by the Epstein-Barr virus, immunocompromised individuals are still at risk of developing cancer caused by the virus. Researchers from Duke University found that the Epstein-Barr virus was able to influence the cell's metabolism by manipulating the cell to use any internal fuel source to keep dividing, thereby preventing the B cells from entering a senescent state. After treating cells with rapamycin, they found that the drug was effective at inducing the senescence response, which could potentially be used to halt the spread of the Epstein-Barr virus in patients with compromised immune systems. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below, and visit xox.com for more information on this story and other news stories in the life science industry.